In this video, we're going to start accepting payments online by creating a product in the Stripe dashboard and adding a payment link. A payment link is a URL you can share with your customers that will take them to Stripe checkout where they can purchase your product. It requires no code and can be shared as many times as you like in emails, on social media, or through other channels. In short, it's a great way to quickly accept payments. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go into the account settings section of my dashboard and confirm the business information my customers will see. This is found in the public business information section of my settings. You can see I have my business name set as well as my support and contact information. Next, I'm going to go over to the email settings on my account and confirm I'm set up to send email receipts to customers when they make a purchase. Next, I'm going to add a product to sell. In my case, a box of chocolate. I'm going to set the name, description, and add an image. I also need to configure the pricing models. There are a lot of options here, but I'm going to use the standard pricing and set my price to $30 and as a one-time purchase. Now I can create a payment link for this product. I'm taken to a page that shows me a preview of what my customers will see. I can see the checkout page they'll be taken to when they click on the payment link, and I can also see the confirmation page they'll see after making a purchase. I don't have any promo codes, so I'm not going to check that right now, but I will let people adjust the quantity. I'm also going to make sure checkout collects both their billing and shipping information, and when I do that, I'll set up the countries I can ship to. On the confirmation page, I can personalize the message they'll see. I'll click Next. And I skip this page because I'm not splitting the payment with another account. I'm now taken to the payment link section of my dashboard. Let's copy the link and try it out. You can see the link takes me to Stripe's hosted checkout page. As a customer, I can adjust the quantity. And as I enter my address, checkout offers autocomplete suggestions. I'm going to use one of Stripe's test cards. And since it's a Visa card, checkout shows me the little Visa icon. It also shows me where to find the CVC on the back of my card. Lastly, while I'm not going to do it today, I have the option to save my payment information to reuse for future purchases, both on this site and on others using Stripe. I successfully complete my payment and I'm taken to the confirmation page. That's it for our demo, so let's do a quick review of what we accomplished. First, we confirmed that the public information about our business was correct within our Stripe account. Next, we created a product with a single price, and using that product, we created a payment link to take our customers to checkout. We configured some of the options controlling the customer's experience within checkout. In our case, we allowed the customers to adjust the quantity of the product, and we also made sure that checkout collects their billing and shipping information. We can now take this payment link and share it anywhere we want, such as in an email or on social media. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.